Good morning, fellow option traders. This is Jeff, and welcome to the Daily Scan for Friday, April 11th, 2014. All right, you may have noticed there was no video yesterday. Well, we had contractor tear up a cable, and we just lost it for a full day. Didn't get it back until yesterday morning, uh, about 8 o'clock, and it was just uh, too much going on here to be able to you know get a video out in time for the early viewers so I just took a pass on it okay so yesterday we had jobless claims which the number came in you know better than expected and then we have uh, producer price index for today and then consumer sentiment later in the day which may be market affecting all right jumping across the ponds we're looking at Asia down across the board nice line of red there and same thing in Europe even more so from a percentage perspective looking a little bit uh, bearish there and we had a pretty bearish day here yesterday let's go and take a look at our futures Take the A-plus list out of there, and let's jump over and take a look at the indices. All right, we're looking uh, we're looking to be down a little bit, possibly, at the open. Um, gold is down 3 bucks right now overnight, and oil is down $0.29, cents, but still above 103 And oil is still above 1300 so I'm happy with that. All right, uh, on the account... Since the last time we talked, entered into this um, F5 Networks trade, which was really looking good until yesterday hit. I uh, got into it on Wednesday uh, in the morning. It was the only one out of all our prospects that were in there for um, Wednesday that I was really interested in. And um, I did sell the call for four cents on gold or I did buy it back I should say for this covered call and I was thinking about you know doing that May and we'll um, maybe take a look at that as we're going through everything on the A plus list let's jump right over to it now and not waste a whole heck of a lot of time with some empty chatter here alright first up is Apple which we entered I believe on Monday or Tuesday it's doing pretty well it gave us a nice day yesterday um, kept us below yes we did get in on this on Monday kept us below a little scary here um, but still not at the end of the day is when it gave us our green green and should have given us the exit or I should have exited but it was too late in the day when it finally came up and yesterday it pulled back so we're okay now nothing new coming up on Apple for the time being Amazon uh, Amazon actually has given us a nice little indicator here we were, had this up as a setup but this is now an alert so we let's throw an alert on there. We're looking for below. Alrighty, we got our oh, wait a minute, five fifty three fifteen ninety three. Really? Okay, it's just that can't fit it on the chart, so that's why it's looks like it's much lower than what it really is. All right, Boeing, no live positions there. Looking for it to come up here and give us an entry and it gave us a failure, so it's no longer a viable candidate. Baidu, Baidu gave us, it's giving us a nice hook right here. So, this is alertable. We'll set it here below. I don't quite want to go down that far. Well, I guess that's okay. 
make it prove it to me. So we have another alert. But of course, this being Friday, um, maybe, maybe trades just for today. I don't think I would do any of these with a next Friday expiration. Uh, sell gene, actually, this is a bit unusual where the MACD turns down before the stochastic does. So, uh, it's pretty rare it does happen where the MACD leads the stochastic. So this is still just a setup. All right, next up is Chipotle. Nothing live on Chipotle. We have a alertable situation here. So we'll set our alert right there. Below the low. Below the low. Okay. Costco. Uh, we have an alert here on Costco. Come on. Okay, I think we're going to have a lot of alerts, especially on the downtrending uh, positions that we've been watching. I'm running out of room in my notebook. So we might have a lot of them today. Chevron. Uh, Chevron, we're in this calendar. We're looking for it to come down here in the next uh, few days before next Friday. Um, we're down 60 bucks on this. We have to keep kind of a close eye on this thing. It's not going to get there, but if I can get it at least up around here where we can minimize our losses, that would be okay with me. All right, let's take a look at their chart. Um, don't see anything directional trades in here right now. So to wait to see, have this one play itself out a little bit more. All right, um, diamonds. We don't know what kind of trend we got going on here, so there's no directional play here. Just taking a look at, we have a high here. Now it looks like we have a lower high, and we may be headed for a lower low, so that's a pretty good sign of a potential trend setting direction, or price action. Okay, Igor flattening out here uh, nothing going from a CSS v2 perspective so we're going to take a pass on that FedEx that's got this thing going on with FedEx which I'm willing to take a total loss on and the loss is down to $54 I believe and it failed in its quest to get up here to give us an entry in this downtrend and now it's starting to get messy and confused so we're just going to stay away from that for right now and F5 we already looked at that no we didn't uh, got in on this yesterday or the day before didn't get to tell you about it yesterday it was looking pretty good and now it's not so hot anymore so what's our potential loss on this 90 bucks hard to believe that we don't have a white line in here let's see here that's at 370 and this one is at yeah hard to believe there should be a white line in there of some sort just to let you know, I did have a talk with Thinkorswim about spreads, and he said that you could get exercised or things get messy if one of your if your short strike is in the money and your long strike is out of the money. So if you're in this area here between um, your short strike and your long long strike in this area here when it expires on Friday then things get messy 
but if both of them are in the money you should be okay if you want to just sit back and take total loss and don't incur any transaction costs that's what the man told me let's just make sure that everything is reset here all right so um, might get burned on that one gold again I was talking about doing uh, this um, 134 call for me this is looking pretty good right now it was uh, I think 28 cents or something like that the last time I looked at it so 34 cents would be okay with me so I'm gonna make a look make a note to possibly uh, sell this call today okay moving right along Google GL uh, this is uh, we have a calendar on this I believe it is uh, way in the money because it's a put calendar uh, I think that's what they're telling me here yes it's way in the money uh, it's down to 305. I need things to kind of settle down. I'm looking for like a volatility collapse on this to uh, help me minimize my losses. Unless it should recover, but I don't think it's going to. So is there anything for us on a directional perspective? Yes, actually we do. Uh, we have an alertable trade, so... This might be interesting for today. I would have to set something below this uh, pre-market price here. So we'll see if we get that alert today. It would be kind of risky doing a, uh, a trade today for expiration this afternoon but we'll just have to see how the market what kind of what kind of pressure there is to the downside because all of these are um, bear calls all right moving right along IWM we're looking for a move up here we didn't get it um, and I would not do this for a day trade anyway, so that's no longer valid. As a matter of fact, no, yeah, it's no longer valid. So let's get rid of it. Maybe some other trade might be in mind there. Maybe a 20 delta for next Friday. And that would look something like this. Let's go back to IWM. Do a 20 delta for next week. That would be right here. You can get ten cents, ten dollars, a dollar transaction costs. May want to spread this out a little bit. Maybe going to a fifteen five. That would give you eighteen cents. That's uh, that's probably what I would do. Spread this out to a buck. And I do a pack of them, you know, like five or something like that. All right. LinkedIn. Um, LinkedIn, we have a setup <laughs> on our old friend LinkedIn. All right. Triple M. Uh, we got a hookup, but I don't think we're in an uptrend. I don't like this particular indicator down here 3m is a little bit confusing so let's put them aside for right now we'll delete all our drawings and we'll wait for it to establish some sort of direction unlike some of these others like Netflix we definitely have a direction here on Netflix and we have an alertable trade here too so we'll set that up below the low all right, price line. We're almost done, folks. Let's see if we can keep it under 20 minutes for today. Uh, let's see, price line. 
we have an alertable trade here another one below the low Look at the cues. Another big red bar here. Not quite there, but definitely a 20 delta trade. And what might that look like? The cues at 20 delta for next week. We could get all the way down to here. very similar to IWM and again I would want to stretch this out to a buck so that's what we would get clicked on that and again another maybe a five pack spiders probably the same thing what do you think uh, no not as um, strong not as strong and we are showing an uptrend there so we're going to take this drawing out. We need these to turn red for a cycle. So we're going to wait for a cycle. What's this? Oh. Looks like some retrace stuff here. Okay. Um, TLT. We're in a trade there. Let's take a look. See how we're doing. Isn't that sweet? That's pretty sweet. So we have, as we mentioned before, we do have a calendar. And take these out. There's our calendar. Can't get much better than that. Have to exit that today. And here is the credit spread. We had a bull put on this. And that one is going to work out for us as well. So that feels good. It feels kind of good, doesn't it? Um, so we're happy with that. Even though this this is for next Friday, we're almost at max. So we're going to exit that today. All right, this is why we do this. Because when this happens, it just makes you so happy. You know what I mean? So for both of these trades, we're looking at 163 bucks, and I know a lot of people might say, eh, 163 bucks, there's nothing, nah, nah, nah. but feels pretty good right now. All right, Tesla, no live trades. Uh, we have an alertable situation here. And some of these, you know, I might decide to go in for next week on these. Like I said, I don't like the whole over the weekend, but I think sentiment is pretty much to the downside right now. So I may consider next Friday's expiration for these short-term trades. Union Pacific. All right, we have a failure here. Nothing going. So I'm going to wait for it to dip down again and then come back up and try to come up anyway. We'll see if it does. And last but not least is Visa. Uh, Visa, yeah. Don't know if it's going to give us an entry here or not. This is not uh, set up at all. So we'll take a pass on that. All right, that's it for today. It's Friday. Everybody have a great weekend. I know I plan to. I think we're going to have some pretty decent weather. It'll be close to 70s. That's always good. And uh, we'll have the weekly wrap next Monday. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to get to the earnings plays. Some examples of earnings plays that I can put together this weekend and get out for you guys. All right. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Again, have a great weekend and happy trading.